welcome to Medical Dialogues. I am Anshika Mishra. Today we'll talk about Researchers uncovered blood flow regulation of brain parasite development. In a study published online in the Cell Reports, DU Julin groups of at the Institute of Neuroscience Center of Excellence in Brain Science and Intelligence Technology of the Chinese Academy of Sciences and the collaborators created a zebrafish model for in vivo labeling of brain parasites and systematically explored the developmental dynamics and brain parasites during the early embryonic stage. The researchers revealed the promoting effect of blood flow on the proliferation of parasites after ingress into the brain and showed that this process release relies on the activation of mechanosensitive ion channel PSO1 and vascular endothelial cells and its downstream north signaling. Brain function relies on a complex and effective vascular network that provides necessary nutrients and removes waste products. To maintain the homeostasis of neural tissues and normal neural activity, the brain vasculature forms the blood barrier and brain barrier BBB during development, strictly controlling substance exchange between blood and brain parenchyma. Abnormalities in the BBB are closely associated with various brain diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possesses the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Pericytes, as mural cells tightly attached to the outer side of EC tubes in capillary, play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity of the BBB. Therefore, understanding the development of brain pericytes is essential for starting the formation and maintenance of the BBB. Previous research has indicated that blood flow, the most important functional behavior of blood vessels, participates in regulating the development of brain ECs. However, whether blood flow affects the growth of brain pericytes remains an unexplored question. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.